Life Audio. Hello, thank you for listening to your daily Bible verse, the podcast that examines one verse each day to learn more about God and His will for us. I'm your host, Joy A. Williams. I'm a writer and speaker on the Joy to the Soul blog. I'd love to share a resource with you entitled, Five Ways to Keep or Find Your Joy, Whatever Happens. This free PDF is available on joyawilliams.com. After this short word from our sponsor, we'll dive into today's Bible verse, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23. God's Word will change our life, but sometimes it's hard to know where to start. Well, that's where I come in. I'm Jody Nisnik, host of So Much More, Creating Space for God, a scripture meditation podcast. And each week, I guide you through a scripture, giving you space to listen to the Spirit and pray about what's on your heart. Then we have a thoughtful conversation with guests to help us go deeper. Listen and subscribe at lifeaudio.com. The Historical Jesus Podcast is the sweeping saga of the life and times of Galilean Jesus of Nazareth, as well as the faith, religion, and church founded to honor and disseminate his acts and teachings. Join me, Mark Vinette, on this fascinating journey through time, exploring the many great works of Christian theology, literature, architecture, music, and art inspired by the words and deeds of Jesus Christ. Today's Bible verse is Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23. The New Living Translation reads, Let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm, for God can be trusted to keep his promise. The identity of the writer of Hebrews has been disputed for ages, to the point that many biblical scholars agree that the author of Hebrews is unknown. But the author of Hebrews certainly had a significant amount of knowledge about the faithfulness of God. When you and I think about what we hope for, many things may come to mind. I hope the weather is nice tomorrow. I hope a friend who I haven't seen in a long time can come for a visit or I can visit with her. I hope the world will be a kinder place. What are you hoping for today, friend? Now, as you listen to the podcast, I encourage you to consider the idea of hope affirmation. It happens when we choose to hold on to our hope in Christ, regardless of our circumstances. Now, I can remember a situation where physically holding on to something was necessary for my survival. For example, last summer I was on a boat and the waves were quite rough. At the time I was sitting down, but I still had to grip the rail behind me so I wouldn't fall to the floor or fall overboard as the boat was rocking to and fro. Each time a wave crashed into the boat, I knew I needed to hold on for dear life. Well, similarly, today's Bible verse tells us to hold on tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm, for God can be trusted to keep his promise. As we hold on to hope, we affirm that our security is in Jesus. Otherwise, we may feel ourselves slipping into a place where our emotions dictate our existence, or we can fall back into a pattern of sin where we once walked in victory. But today's Bible verse tells us to hold on tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm. Without wavering is the Greek word 
aklanes. It is only used in the New Testament, and it is based on the idea of an upright object not tilting, not even in the slightest direction. Matthew Henry put it this way, God has made great and precious promises to believers, and he is a faithful God, true to his word. There is no falseness nor fickleness with him, and there should be none with us. His faithfulness should excite and encourage us to be faithful. End of quote. And yet, most of us have had something happen in our lives that has shaken us to our core. But whether we're shaken or whether we feel sure-footed in our faith, the reason for our hope never changes. In fact, hope has much less to do with how we feel and far more to do with how we function. Here's what I mean. First Peter chapter one, verse three tells us, blessed be the God and father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Hebrews chapter six, verse 19 reads, this hope is a strong and trustworthy anchor for our souls. It leads us through the curtain into God's inner sanctuary. Yes, friends, when the storms of life become fierce, a living hope in Christ can remain fixed firmly on the foundation of who Jesus is and the redemption he has given to us. This kind of hope is held by a strong and trustworthy anchor for our souls. To further illustrate this, I'll go back to my story of when I was on the boat. Now, although I had a strong grip on the boat's rails, there was something else that had a grip on me. I wore a life vest. So even if my hands slipped or grew weary of holding on, there was a safety plan in place that didn't depend on my strength alone. Surely our God is more trustworthy than a life vest. As a matter of fact, here are just a few areas of his promises that we can hold on to. His love is unconditional. We can read this in Romans 5 and 8. His care for us is unending. We can read about that in 1 Peter 5 and 7. His word is unchanging. Psalms 119, 88 through 89 tells us this, and his power is unmatched. See Isaiah chapter 40, verse 25 and 26. Yes, friends, there is an abundance of God's promises found throughout the pages of scripture. I find it helpful to commit a promise to memory so that I can encourage myself when tough times come. Today's Bible verse is a great way to start. We can certainly hold on to this verse as an encouragement as well. So let's pray about it. Dear Lord, thank you for holding us in the grip of your grace. We want to hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm in Christ. Lord, as life happens and our faith is tested, may we rest in the fact that you are faithful. Father, you can be trusted to keep your promise. And beyond what we may feel about life circumstances, may we function in the living hope we have through the resurrection power of Christ. And this is our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Your Daily Bible Verse is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app 
so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. The x-rays show that your puppy swallowed a penny. Sparky, is that serious, doctor? No, but you can get serious savings at BJ's Gas. You can buy a gallon with that very penny once it <clears throat> reappears. Ew. I see another penny. Keep looking. You can get gas as low as one cent per gallon during BJ's Wholesale Club's gas event. For each fuel saver item you buy, you'll save 10 cents per gallon on your next fill-up at BJ's Gas within 30 days of purchase. BJ's. <clears throat> Absurdly simple savings. $99 a 40 gallon maximum, whichever comes first. Go to BJ's.com gas for offer terms and a list of participating items. Please don't feed pennies to dogs.